Greetings and salutations, and a happy 4th of July. Today is the 241st anniversary of our country. 241 years. That's actually not really that long. It's less than 300. So, it's kind of weird just to think that our country really isn't that old. And today also marks the anniversary of the death of John Adams and Thomas Jefferson, as well as James Monroe, but he didn't die on the exact same day as he did, but still. So to celebrate our country's independence, I'm deciding to do just a little video on our uh, history of our country, just, just to see how much I know and see if I can go and pass this little quiz. So, in case anyone is wondering, no, I, I didn't go and look up the answers or anything to this, so I'm not going to be going around and cheating. So, so if I can't get them right, don't go like, oh, you cheated, or something like that. So, let's go ahead and get this down, see how much I know about our history. In which city was President John F. Kennedy assassinated? San Francisco, Dallas, Washington, D.C., or Houston. That will be Dallas, Texas. Correct! Go. Okay. From 1892 to 1954, Ellis Island housed an internation camp, a Taihor hospital, an immigration inspection station. Immigration! Insert Donald Trump joke here. What is the name of the commonly used to refer to the operation in which occupied or allied forces landed in Normandy in June of 1944? D-Day, Operation Landy Time, Normandy Day, Invasion 417. D-Day. Correct. Well, well, i am got three right so far. In what year were American women granted the right to vote? 1941. 1972, 1900, or 1920, and 1920, and the feminists still haven't shut up yet, unfortunately. Who is this first lady? Edith Wilson, Eleanor Roosevelt, Barbara Bush, or Martha Washington? Eh, it looks like Eleanor Roosevelt. Correct! Correct again! Oh, maybe I can get all the questions right. The Constitutional Convention was a meeting to discuss the new U.S. Constitution. It was held in 1787 in which city? Boston, Philadelphia, New York City, or Washington, D.C.? Oh, this one's actually kind of difficult. Okay, so, hmm. I'm going with either New York City or Philadelphia. Well, the decoration was made in Philadelphia, so... Ha <coughs> yeah! Oh, six so right so far. It, pretty good. I'm probably doing better than most people would, so... I, I think I'm doing pretty good. Thurgood Marshall was the first African-American senator, secretary of state, congressman, or Supreme Court justice. Supreme Court justice, that one I know. <laughs> Correct! Oh, how can I be this good? Okay, Condoleezza Rice, I think I've seen her name right. As Secretary of State under President Reagan, Clinton, Obama, or Bush? Bush. Woohoo! And uh, I probably actually only know that because of South Park, so if it wasn't for that, I probably wouldn't know that. Yes. Okay, finally. Loving versus Virginia was a landmark Supreme case that invalidated laws prohibiting interstate marriage licenses, abortion, interracial marriage, integrated schools. And I'm guessing because there's a white guy and a black guy in it, it's interracial marriage. Correct. Yeah, they made that one easy because they put those two people in there. 
Which of these Supreme Court cases ended segregation in schools? Brown vs. Board of Education, Roe vs. Wade, Plessy vs. Ferguson, or the Dred Scott decision? Let's see, I'm going with Brown vs. Board of Education. Correct! And I think I actually know these three, but not this one. I, I don't think I know what Plessy vs. Ferguson is. What was the name of the document issued by Abraham Lincoln that freed the slaves in the rebellious states? The Freedom Contract, the Emancipation Proclamation, the Articles of, of Liberty, or the Slave Release Order? The Emancipation. <laughs> and I'm not reading all that. Which of the following was not one of the United States allies in World War II? France? The Soviet Union, Great Britain, or Germany? Oh, it's those stupid Brits. I mean, first they wouldn't let us have our independence. Then they wouldn't try to go and not let us invade Canada. So why wouldn't it be Great Britain? Those freaking hobnockers or whatever words they use. And uh, wait, maybe it might be Germany. I mean. Yeah, they did kill all those people during World War II, so maybe it's them. Hmm, co correct. I, I guess Hitler was a pretty bad man after all. Who knew? Who said, give me liberty or give me death? George Washington, Nathan Hale, Paul Revere, or Patrick Henry? Patrick Henry. But you could say it was Nathan Hale because he did get hanged, so... He, he did get death for wanting his liberty. The Star Spangled Banner was written by Francis Scott Key, John Philip Salsa, Emma Goldman, or F. Scott Fitzgerald. Uh, hmm. uh, uh, this one? Oh, no! Oh, I knew it was Key. I just... Uh, why'd I do that? Well, I was 14 in before I had my first wrong answer, so I think I did pretty well. On January 28, 1986, the space shuttle Blank exploded shortly after liftoff, killing all seven people on board. Voyager, Challenger, Saturn, or Hubble? The Challenger. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty depressing seeing that video, just thinking they're going to space, how... They're doing this thing that not a lot of people have done, and then, boom, they're vaporized. It is pretty sad. In 1972, a five, men, five men were arrested for breaking into the headquarters of the Democratic National Committee. The enduring scandal was known as Deep Throat, the Democratic Disaster, the D.C. Debatable, or Watergate. Watergate. And then, of course, Nixon gets all the crap about doing this, and then Clinton gets nothing about what she's done. <laughs> I mean, he, I mean Nixon, he deserved to get what he got, but it's just no fair that Clinton might possibly get away with everything she's done. The 21st Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, passed in 1933, did what? Begin prohibition, give women the right to vote, ended World War I, or repeal prohibition? Repealed Thank God. I, I I don't know what we would do if we couldn't go and drink at least a little alcohol. So, thank God that was repealed and we can have a little beer once in a while. The two halves of the Transcontinental Railroad met in blank in 1869. Utah, Texas, Louisiana, or Nevada. Ooh. It's either Nevada or Utah. I know it's a western state. I'm gonna go with, uh, the Mormons. Ooh, correct! Workers on the western blah blah blah. The Declaration of Independence was signed in 1620, 1776, 1789, or 1492. Oh wow, this is hard. Well, 1620 was around the same time that the Pilgrims had their first Thanksgiving. 1789 was when George Washington became president, and 1492 was when Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Wow, 
You think that? Do you think that Columbus was around for the signing of the Declaration of Independence? Maybe his signature is on there. But a lot of people have said it's a seventy seventy six thing, so I'll go with this. <clears throat> yeah, they're right. I mean, I was going to pick fourteen ninety two, but I was wrong. Hmm. Fort Sumter was the site of the Battle of Bunker Hill. Hill. <laughs> Lincoln's assassination, or the first shots fired in the U.S. Civil War. The Civil War. Maybe if they didn't have a picture of it, it would have been a little bit harder. Robert E. Lee was famous for anti-slavery activist, presidential candidate, or general in the Confederate Army. A general. Even though he actually wasn't that into slavery, he... I mean. Quite a lot of people in the Confederacy weren't that into slavery. It's, a lot of it was for state rights, but because the history books don't tell that, you know how all these PC kids are going like, get rid of these, all these stupid statues, they're racist. Be the history book people. I mean, yeah, there were a lot of them who did want slavery and they were wrong. They shouldn't have done that, but you know, it was a different time. Put yourself in their shoes. Yeah. The first successful permanent English settlement in North America was called Massachusetts Bay Colony, Plymouth Rock, Roanoke, or Jamestown. Jamestown. Uh, they could have actually made that more confusing if they didn't say successful, because then people might have chose Roanoke. But that one disappeared. Alexander Hamilton, who appears on the dollar bill bill, <laughs> and developed the U.S. banking system, was the nation's first Secretary of Defense, Secretary of Wigs, Secretary of Trees, and Secretary of the Treasury. Treasury. And pretty much every girl I met who likes history really likes Alexander Hamilton. I don't get it. I really don't get it. There's this one girl from California I know who, who really likes him. Mabel from Gravity Falls likes him. I I don't get it. Maybe it's just a woman thing, <laughs> but they really like him. And it probably won't surprise me if we have a secretary of trees soon. This, where are all the so-so justice is going right now? It wouldn't surprise me if we do get a secretary of trees. Secretary of wigs, we probably won't get that for at least a while. I, I don't see that happening just yet. In 1965, a series of racially Motivated riots erupted in the Lo what Los Angeles neighborhood? Watts, Bel Air, S Silver Lake, or Compton? Ooh, uh, I'm pretty sure it's Watts. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it sounds familiar. I'm going with Watts. <laughs> oh yeah! The riots caused approximately 40 million in property damage. Ugh. At what university were four students killed during a protest on its campus in 1970? Boston University, Kent State, Ohio, or University of Southern California? Uh, oh, this one I really don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Kent. Oh yeah, Kent State. The National Guard was brought up to keep the peace at the protest, which ended up killing four and seriously wounding nine students. Oh, Reminds me of Evergreen, and Berkeley, and Mizzou, and pretty much every friggin' university today that goes crazy over anything. Oh, campuses, they've gone insane. The 49th state of Minnesota Union was Florida, Alaska, Hawaii, or Idaho. Well, well, we have the giant mountain, so it could be Florida. I mean, I've heard it's supposedly supposed to be the flattest state, but, eh, I mean, you know, I mean, they could be invisible or something. But I'm going to go with my instincts and say it's Alaska. <laughs> yeah. January of 1959. The president for most of the 1950s was Calvin Coolidge. John F. Kennedy, Franklin D. Roosevelt, or Dwight Eisenhower. Eisenhower. 
Correct! <laughs> yeah! Eisenhower was a general during World War II and served two terms as president from 1933 to 1961. One. Kind of like, just like the wacko said in, in Animaniacs. From 53 to 61! The oldest national park is Yasmite, Smoky Mountains, Yellowstone, or Everglades. Oh. Well, this is probably the hardest one yet, actually. I, I really don't know this one. Mm, I'm going with one of these two, uh... Gazmite? Ah! Yay! What was it? Ah, I knew I should have done Yellowstone. Ah! Oh. oh, well. Who said walk softly and carry a big stick? Andrew Coolidge, Theodore Roosevelt, William Henry Harrison, or John D. Rockefeller? Roosevelt, the most badass president we've ever had. And it would have been a little bit harder if they didn't have this freaking picture on there. Yeah. During World War II, thousands of Americans were imprisoned in intermission camps simply because they were diagnosed with influenza, bad drivers, of Japanese descent, unable to pay their taxes. Insert another Donald Trump joke here. And of Japanese descent. But personally, I do think bad drivers should be sent to these camps. I mean, I had to deal with these stupid people every day, just not knowing where they're going and almost causing ac accidents. Just screw bad drivers. I, I'm, I'm saying here that we should send these people to camp. Fuck them. Oh, it's just, but yeah, of Japanese assistance. And if you also support sending these people to the camp, the bad drivers, then I fully give you my support because they should be. The Great Depression took place mostly during the 1920s, the 1940s, the 1910s, or the 1930s. That would be the 1930s. Yeah. Which was also the time when the Dust Bowl happened. The native leader who inspired his people to defeat General Cluster at the Battle of Little Bighorn was named Raging Buffalo, Sitting Bull, Little Horse, or Feather Wearer. It's either Little Horse or Sitting Bull. Little Horse? Yeah. <laughs> Darn. Darn. Well, I'm over 30 questions and I've only done, gotten three right, done wrong so far, so I'm doing great. Why wasn't Richard Nixon impeached? He resigned before the impeachment could actually happen. There wasn't enough evidence against him. And that would be because he resigned. Unlike Hillary Clinton, who does have enough evidence against her, and has never gotten really any huge problems. The Battle of Bunker Hill took place in New Jersey, Virginia, Massachusetts, or New York. Hmm, that's one that's a little difficult actually. Uh, hmm, I'm going with Massachusetts. Yeah! The battle took place in what is now Charlestown neighborhood of Boston. Fill in the blank. Teapot blank scandal. Dome? Yeah! The Teapot Dome scandal took place in the early 1920s and involved the Secretary of the Interior accepting bribes from oil companies. That one I didn't know. I just spat all there. So, I'm lucky I got it right. The, the, Warren, the Warren Commission was t tasked with creating a report on Area 51 the moon landing, the Bay of Pigs, or the Kennedy assassination. Hmm. I doubt it's Area 51. The moon landing? Nah, not really. Uh, it's either Bay of Pigs or the Kennedy assassination. Bay of Pigs? Darn. Uh. What was it? Kennedy assassination. Uh. Uh. United States involvement in the the Vietnam War took place mostly in which decade? The 60s. Actually, wouldn't it be the 70s? It ended in 75, so it, 
it would have been, I think, five years in the 70s and three years in the 60s. So, technically, they are the wrong ones, I think. Oh, I guess, no, I guess they're right. So, actually, it's about half-half. Rosa Parks became a famous figure for inspiring what incident in the civil rights movement? The assassination of Malcolm X, the I Have a Dream speech by Martin Luther King, or the bus boycott? The bus boycott. And how times have changed. Back then, the back of the bus was the bad spot. Today, it's the good spot. I remember back in school, everyone wanted to go in the back of the bus. Maybe it's different today. I haven't been to regular school in over seven years, so, but back when I was in regular school, the back of the bus was where the cool kids went, and it's where you wanted to sit. President Jimmy Carter was known for being a blank farmer before becoming a politician. Wheat, peanut, strawberry, or corn? Peanuts. Carter's Peanuts owned a peanut farm on which young Jimmy grew up. What country did the 1980 U.S. team, <laughs> getting lost my words, beat in a semi-final round before they went on their on to win the gold medal, Germany, Sweden, the, S the Soviet Union, or Poland? The Soviet Union. About 10 years before they collapsed. Shirley Coslam was the first black woman to become governor of California, run as a Republican presidential candidate, be elected to Congress. Uh, I'm going elected to Congress. Yes. All right. President Reagan was introduced introduced a, a Mitchell defense system called the Strategic Defense Interdiction in the 1980s. What did the media not so lovely nickname the program? Star Wars, Back to the Future, E.T., or Raiders of the Lost Ark? Uh, Star Wars? Yeah! That one I didn't know, but I, I just had a, a feeling that was going to be that. Who was the first female Supreme Court Justice? Hillary Clinton? Oh, God, no. Sonia Sotomayor, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, or Sandra Day O'Connor? Sandra Day O'Connor, appointed by Ronald Reagan. Dred Scott was a slave who unsuccessfully sued for his freedom, shot Abraham Lincoln, oh, that wouldn't be good, Found, founded the Underground Railroad, and freedom. It, it, it wouldn't be, it would be something if a slave shot Abraham Lincoln, just, I wonder what this country would be like if that happened. Oh, I, I dread that. Hey, Dred, Dred Scott. <laughs> What future president led the Union troops at the end of the Civil War? Robert E. Lee, John Wilkes Booth, Ulysses S. Grant, or George Custer? That would be Grant. Yuck. I don't think Booth would be allowed to become president after what he did. Who was the first U.S. president to appear on television? Dwight D. Eisenhower, Franklin D. Roosevelt, Teddy Roosevelt or Lyndon Johnson? Mm. I'm going with Roosevelt. Yes! I thought it was that or Eisenhower. I, I wasn't too sure, actually. The Statue of Liberty was given to the United States by which country in 1886? Canada, England, Germany, or France? France. I mean, what has Canada given us? I mean, they should be blamed for everything. Blame Canada, blame Canada. It seems that everything's gone wrong since Canada came along. Which of these cards was named after Henry Ford's son? The Lincoln, the Edsel, the Taurus, or the Chevrolet? Ooh, this one's actually kind of hard. I'm going with, uh... Oh my, oh wow. That one I didn't know at all. I don't know a thing about cars, so... Wow. I was lucky there. I, I was sure I was going to get it wrong. 
Which state succeeded from Virginia in 1861? Georgia, Maryland, Tennessee, or West Virginia? Oh, wow. This one might be the most difficult so far. Oh. Well, Georgia, I think it, I really think it existed before the revolution, so it can't be that. Maryland, too. So it's either Tennessee or West Virginia. Well, these two have the same name, so can it be... <laughs> yeah! Hoo-hoo! <laughs> so that means if two places have similar names, they're, they probably might be related to each other, in a way. Which of these cities was never the capital of the United States? Philadelphia, Baltimore, Boston, or Princeton? Hmm. I know Philadelphia was, I know, I'm pretty sure Boston was... So it's either Baltimore or Princeton. Princeton? Ah, Baltimore. Ah, man. Well, now I know. So next time I won't get it wrong. Which plane was named the, the Spirit of St. Louis? Teddy Roosevelt, Amelia Earhart, H Howard Hughes, or Charles Lindbergh? Charles Lindbergh. The spirit is out there. Uh, if you've never seen Up, watch it it's a great movie which of the following states was an independent republic before it became a state ohio texas wyoming or florida and texas fuck yeah everything's bigger in texas oh and king of the hill takes place in texas and T king of the hill is a really good show which is the only state where coffee is grown florida california hawaii or Georgia. Oh, this, this one's kind of hard. Well, with the mountain in the background, it can't be Florida. It's probably not Georgia, so it's either California or Hawaii. Hawaii. Yes. Yeah, it, it, it was really Hawaii there, so I, I thought it was going to be that. What are the f first ten amendments to the Constitution called? The Bill of Rights, the Articles of Confederation, the Dred Scott Decision, or the Federalist Papers. The Bill of Rights. The Articles of Confederation was replaced by the Constitution. George Washington Carver was known for, for his contributions in the field of Nerf guns, peanut farming, air conditioning, or hydraulics. Nerf guns. Oh man. It's peanut farming. But if he didn't make Nerf guns too, that would be even better. <laughs> How many justices usually s sit on the Supreme Court? 50, 9, 6, or 12, and 9. And a little fun fact, my grandfather was one of them. Samuel Chase, he was on the Supreme Court and was a signer of the Declaration of Independence, and also a son of liberty. I was also related to Joshua Barney, who was a a Navy uh, officer. So, just a little fun fact for you. The first public railroad in the United States was started in 1781, 1920, 1928, 1965. 28, yeah. Nat Turner was the first black member of Congress, a black general in the U Union Army, a slave who led a rebellion. I'm going with a slave. Yes! The Nat Turner Rebellion in 1831 led to the death of 60 white people and 200 black people. The White House was built by slaves. Well, this one I don't know. Uh, I'm going with false. Ah! The correct answer is true. The main residence of the White House was built in 1792 by enslaved Africans. Sadly. So, that's a little dark part of our history. The Alamo is located in Louisiana, Mexico, Texas, or New Mexico. Hmm. Texas. Oh, oh, oh I almost picked Louisiana. Texas. Hey, Patrick, what am I now? Stupid? No, I'm Texas. Why was this headline an historic moment? It was the first printing of the New York Times. 
it was the first time a Jewish person was mentioned in, in a headline. The headline was false. Truman actually won. Truman won. And then we kind of got that in 2016 again with Trump and, and Hillary. Everyone thought Hillary was going to win, and everyone was surprised. Even Trump when, when he won. Just look at his face. You can tell he was surprised. Just like everyone. In 1773, to protect Preston taxes levied in on, on tea by the British government, a group of colonists dressed as, uh, up as Native Americans and threw a bunch of tea in the harbor. This event is called the Tea in the Sea, the Boston Tea Party, the Tea Throwing Incident, the Ta Actuation Tea Rebellion. The Tea in the Sea. I like that. It, it, that has a nice name to it. The Tea in the Sea. Oh. I like that. It should have been called that. But then there's the Boston Tea Party. Tea in the sea. Oh, I'm gonna start saying that. Do 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 do. Who was convicted of shooting Robert Kennedy in 1968? Sherman Shanahan, Jack Ruby, Lee Holly Osbourne, or Manalis Sanchez? Well, Osward shot Kennedy, and then Ruby shot Osward, so it's one of these two guys. Him? Yeah! Oh, I wasn't too sure there. The Louisiana Purchase was the purchase of stolen islands from the Spanish, the Aquilus, the British, or the French. Uh, French? Yeah! I, that I knew because I knew we, that we bought... The Louisiana Purchase from the French. Okay, so Atalas is currently a national park, but it served for many years as what? A mental hospital, a dog quincing family, a smallpox sanitarium, or a prison? Prison! <laughs> yeah. It's located. Hmm. And I think that was the one with one of the most famous escapees, I think. I might be wrong about that one, though. Who invented the cotton grin? Albert Einstein, Thomas Edison, Ella Whitney, or Betsy Rotts? Oh, Lincoln, or Einstein. I mean, some people say he, that he helped create the atom bomb, but no. It was that, that awesome thing. Yeah, it was Whitney. In what year was Boston Harbor attacked by the Japanese? 1945? 1973, 1914, 1941, 1941. Harriet Tubman was a proponent of Austin, an international figure in establishing a hospital ran by former slaves, the Underground Railroad, and the Emancipation Coalition, the Underground Railroad. Oh, God, okay, I finally have about 10 questions left, so let's get this over with. Who said, ask not what your country can do for you, but ask what you can do for your country? Franklin D. Roosevelt, Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, or John F. Kennedy? John F. Kennedy. For how many terms was Franklin D. Roosevelt elected as president? One, three, four, two. Well, it depends on how you go with it. He went for three full terms, but he died during his fourth, around the beginning of it. So, four. Okay, so that could be a trick question if they wanted to, but luckily it wasn't. In what year did the moon landing occur? 1989, 1929, 1969, 1912. Well, it's definitely 1912. The moon landing was happening at the same time the Titanic was sinking. I mean, th those two events had to go together. They have to. It can't be a coincidence. I mean, some people are saying it's 1969, but it has to be this 1912. But a lot of people are going to say I'm stupid for picking 1912, so I'll pick 1969. <laughs> See, e even they're wrong about it. Jackie Robinson was the first black man to play National League Baseball, or uh, Major League Baseball, become a general in the U.S. Army, write a hip-hop song. <laughs> well, by doing that, it looks like he's writing a hip-hop song. 
but Major League Baseball. And with that, go Cardinals, screw the Cubs. Who, who was the United States fighting in the War of 1812? The Irikas tribe, the Netherlands, France, the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom. And if I remember correctly, that war ended in a draw. Russia, Russia was the first. Russia was the United States flank during World War One. Uh, hmm. Uh, this went bad because I don't know really anything about World War One. I'm going with Ally. Yeah. Okay. William Hurst and Joseph Pulitzer popularized blank tourism during the 1890s. Purple, red, yellow, or blue? Hmm. <laughs> yellow? Yes! Oh, I knew it was that or red. Yellow tourism is a term used to describe news that is very sensational headlines but little sensational reporting. Okay. Denali, the highest mountain in the United States, used to be named Mount St. Helens, Mount McKinley, Mount Kanjoma, or Peak, Peak's Peak, Pike's Peak, Mount McKinley. Clover Barton was a nurse who worked on and near battlefields during which American War? The Revolutionary War, the Civil War, the Vietnam War, and the French and Indian War. And it's a civil war. It's an easy guess because once again, they gave a picture. Which was the first state to ratify the Constitution? Delaware, New York, New Jersey, or Virginia? Hmm. This one's actually kind of hard. I'm going with Virginia. Gah! Delaware, okay. So I think I got six wrong? Do you know American history? 91%! Uncle Sam is impressed! Oh, you are a true American who knows all about the great United States. See, Uncle Sam is impressed at me. Out of all those, I think I missed about six questions around there. I, I lost count, but it was about, what, 40 or 50 questions t total, so not bad. Not bad at all. I think I know my history pretty well. And it's, it's pretty sad because I've seen so many people just get basic history questions wrong and just do like, uh, I don't know. I mean, I mean, and actually I did get stumped by one question on another test a few days ago was how many of the 56 signers were born in, in the United States and I picked 56 and, but no, none of them were. The United States didn't exist, so I admit I got that one wrong. It tricked me, but okay, I, I did really well on this. 91%. So if I were trying to become a, an American citizen, I would have passed. I'm, I'm, I'm probably more American than a lot of Americans out there. So I hope you people have a good 4th of July. I hope you go and blow a, a bunch of crap up. And I hope you also have a great day. Take care.